Hello and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we will continue from where we stopped with the simulation of the hydrolysis of sodium borohydride. In the last tutorial, we stopped at the specification of the plug flow reactor. Right now, the second phase of this model is to simulate a a downstream section that regenerates the sodium borohydride via the products one of the products formed which is sodium metaborate so sodium metaborate is formed in this plug flow reactor right let's check it so you have sodium metaborate here as one of the products so this product which is in the outlet of the reactor is the feed to the second part of this model is one of the feed components right so if you add this um, regeneration of the sodium borohydride you should have something like this right so this is a this is more of a complete model of the whole process so i'll be walking us through how to get to this extent so we'll start with the separation of our target product which is hydrogen right hydrogen is the only gas in the mixture we have from here let's go back to the r plug so hydrogen is the only gas we have right so we separate hydrogen from the other reactor products before we continue with our modeling that's the first part which is the essence of this separator or this separator rather this first one before then the next step is to recycle some of the feed right so let's go back now um from our current model right a lot of the feed is still in the reactor product right so um this is kg let's use kilomole more fraction no let's use our more flow so for our more flow the feed is 100 kilogram mole per hour of water then 97 kilogram mole per hour of sodium borohydride and they both reduce to 82 and 88 kilogram moles per hour respectively right so a lot of the feed is still coming out from the reactor right unreacted feed so uh, in the model the first thing i did was to recycle part of that feed back to the reactor right via the mixer right so that we can have more products formed from the reactor right because a lot of the a lot of the reactants still came out from the reactor so in order to work on that i decided to create a recycle stream that feeds or sends back some of the feed into the reactor through the mixer right so after the um after hydrogen has been separated from the other reactor products a certain amount of the um the reactor feed is sent back into the reactor so that is what we'll be starting with in this particular tutorial right so the first step is to get out your your um separator which is this one here in your model palette right you need two separators i guess b4 and then b5 then we need um we'll be needing some material streams right let's reduce the size of this a little So we need some material streams. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. 
is okay so we need material streams you click on it then you attach it to your equipment this is hydrogen hydro this is hydrogen I would work on that then this will be let's just call this BT the bottom products then we need two um, streams for this as well for B5 right let me see what I used to name it here okay um let me see okay that is our recycle stream actually so this the top products from here will be recycled back to the feed then we have another bottom product so this will be still bottom okay right so we now have our outlet streams for the separators We have our outlet streams for the separators. Let me see if I can do this properly. Just a moment. next will be to connect the feed streams to the separators right so for this one the outlet of the reactor is the inlet to this first separator right i can align this properly sorry the outlet of the reactor inlet of separator and the outlet of this separator the bottom outlet is the inlet to this second separator so it's like this right this is what we have here then we can work with this right so we have connected our equipment properly next is to specify the splits of the components right in these two separators so you can achieve that by either opening the equipment by double clicking or you just click on next it takes you to that particular equipment in this case our first will be before now from before we want hydrogen to come out from the vapor outlet so hydrogen i want all the amount of hydrogen to come out right and the basis is split fraction there are other bases you can use like the flow of that particular component but in this case i want to use split fraction and i want all of the hydrogen in the um, inlet stream to come out from the vapor outlet so hydrogen split will be one will be specified as one and then that particular um, separator is fully specified then we can exit it and click on next so next is to specify that of the second separator the splits right of the second separator so for this second separator i want a part of the feed which is the combination of water and sodium borohydride to come out from this top so that it can be sent back into the mixer for it to go through the um through the reactor and then more products can be formed right so i will specify for that i will specify 0 0.8 for both water and 0 0.8 for both water and um nabh4 the two reactants of the first reaction water and sodium borohydride i specified 0 0.8 so 0 0.8 of both of them will come out from the vapor outlet 
or the top of that particular separator rather right so before we um before we go further let's um run our model right okay so let's see still loading yeah, still loading okay so uh, calculations were completed normally now let's go back to the um the reactor environment now from the reactor at this point where we have um at the point where we have just the feed going into the reactor just the feed going into the reactor we have hydrogen to be about um let's see hydrogen is how much hydrogen is 35 nope hydrogen is 35 uh yeah kilomole per hour right and then around 71 kg per hour right so now before we um before we recycle this part of our uh, uh, separator outlet back to this i want to make a an adjustment to the discharge pressure so i want to make use of i will make use of 30.2 bar right i'll make use of this yes when i did some analysis on the process this actually favors an increase in the amount of products formed in the reactor so i want to make use of 30.2 bar right and then it will also affects the subsequent um, reaction where sodium borohydride will be regenerated so oh why did i press stop uh just reset okay so and then run okay now let's go back to the r plug so from the r plug our move flow for our move flow for water is 46 let me see yeah 46 and then the mass flow is 92.78 now let's do well to take note of this value right so at this point without the recycle this is the amount of hydrogen that has been formed at the set or specified process conditions so now at this point we will be adding the recycle the recycle stream to the mixer right we'll be adding the recycle stream to the mixer now uh, let's check the recycle stream and see so from the recycle stream you have you see that you have only only water and so sodium borohydride present right so we will be sending it back to the mixer so that it can go through the reactor and then react to produce more hydrogen so you double click on it you double click on it and then you attach it to the mixer right so it has been sent back to the mixer or oh, let me use the top let's make use of the top instead um okay yeah something like this so it has been sent back to the mixer right for aesthetic sake uh, no 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 okay we can still leave it like this let me see if i can align this once you are done connecting the recycle to the mixer then the next is to click on next and then run run the whole process 
right? Okay. Yeah. So the calculations also run normally, right? Click exit this. Um, let me see. Exit this to control panel. Exit. So we are back to the flow sheet. Now, if you go back to that, um, you go back to the reactor environment you will see that the amount of hydrogen produced has increased. I think previously it was at 46 kilogram mole per hour. Now it's 75.7, .7, right? And then the mole fraction, or sorry, the mass flow instead. The mass flow now for hydrogen is 152.622 kg per hour. So sending some of the product sending some of the initial feed back into the mixer has helped to increase the amount of products formed from the reactor right so that is one of the things you could actually do to utilize more of the feed right now the next phase now will be to um simulate the will be to simulate the second phase of this model which is the regeneration of the regeneration of the um feed which is sodium borohydride right so we are going to be regenerating sodium borohydride using the sodium metabolite that is formed from the process so in this case the sodium metabolite which is at the bottom is this right here um N nabo2 right so we have 1245 kg per hour of nabo2 so this is what we'll be utilizing in the production of the feed right so that's the next phase of this particular tutorial right and that's um the modeling of that will be done in a subsequent video right so if you have any questions about this particular tutorial or you have suggestions you can let me know in the comment section then like this video subscribe to the channel this channel and then the main channel which is hotspot for more tutorials on process simulation Thank you for joining me. Do have a good day.